What's going on, everybody? Y'all got to forgive me that I have my mask on. Hopefully, y'all can see me. How's everybody doing? Now y'all can see my eyes. There you go. Much better. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Welcome in to TNT pregame. As I'm live from Indigo, I'm live from Indigo uh, nightclub, home of the Tennessee Titan Fan Club of Memphis. Can y'all hear me pretty good? Let me know y'all hear me good. I'm trying to stick with COVID regulations and keep my mask on, doing the right thing. So I'm trying to do everything right. We got a big game tonight. We got the Titans and the Colts going at it. First place in the AFC South is on the line. I am stoked about this game. You might not can tell because I'm trying to be professional, but I'm excited. I'm excited about this game. It's going to be great. Titans and Truth live in the building. So I'm telling y'all, this game is big on a lot of different things. And shout out to Indigo Nightclub for letting us be here tonight. But one thing about this game, we got a lot of strength versus strength in this game. We got good offense. We got a good offense versus a good defense. We got a, you know, still a decent offense against a much much improved defense. We got to see who's going to be better. We got to see who ends up on top. So, as I mentioned, as I mentioned in the show last night, there's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of things in this game that we got to go into, and we're gonna go back through. We're gonna go back through the blue enforcer four points to victory that we talked about last night. This is what the Titans have to do. This is a big game. Big game is gonna be kicking off in about. 40 minutes from now. This is big. And you know, we saw some stuff with uh inactives gonna happen. Ryan Allen, the guy who replaced Brett Kern as a punter, is inactive for this game. They're going with the guy that brought up from the practice squad, Trevor Daniel, as the punter. I have no idea why Mike Vrabel made this move. I have no clue why he made this move. To not stick with what's working. I don't know if Ryan Allen had an injury or something like that. Um, from what I'm hearing from Teron Davenport of ESPN, he basically said, you know, he might have been saying, look, maybe this kid, this Trevor Daniel kid, punted the crap out of the ball in practice. So that's why he might be getting some looks. I don't know why they made that change. We're going to find out if it's a good idea or not. I'm very skeptical. I'm actually very nervous about that. Um, also, when active, the Dory Jackson he got activated off of the designated to return list, but he's not playing tonight. I hope he's playing against Baltimore because we're going to need him against Baltimore, no doubt about it. Uh, Tier Tart is getting some opportunities. He's going to get another big opportunity. Um, obviously, Breon Borders at corner is going to get another look as well. He's going to be on the outside, so we're definitely going to see what they do. What's up, Zach? What's up, Cole? What's up, Charles? Everybody on Facebook, Sean, what's going on? It's not for the division yet, but whoever wins this game is going to have a leg up. Whoever wins this game is going to have a leg up in the division. And I would rather it be us. If the Titans win this game, they pretty much have a stranglehold on this division and have an easier path to it with another game against the Colts coming up. If the Colts win this game, they decline back into the rate. They decline back up, and now they have a tiebreaker over us. So it, it's big on a lot of purport. It's big on a lot of different things. Zach says we need to start out fat. You start fast. Can I have a slow start? I agree with that. I definitely agree. Charles says defense has to show up. Could come down to a turnover or a special team, which is very, very true which is very, very true. Um, it might come down to that. It might come down to that in this game. It may definitely come down to a turnover or it comes down to a, a big stop on the third down. So that's something that's going to be very important. Um, 
But what I said in the beginning, this is what the off on the offensive side of the ball. You got a very good defensive front you're going to go up against. And again, shout out to Indigo Nightclub for hosting the Tennessee Titans Fan Club of Memphis here uh, for this big game. The Tennessee Titans have got to find themselves offensively. They've got to be able to remember who they are. They're on the national stage tonight. They get to show the world exactly who they are and make sure that they make the world take notice that this ain't no joke, that we are for real and this ain't a game, that we here to be taken seriously. That's what they have to do. They got to control the clock, run the ball, be in attack mode. Do not let up. Now, that Colts defense is very good on the other side. They are extremely stout. They are extremely stout on the defensive front. They're very stout. I mean, you got guys like the Ford Front, Robert Stewart, who is improving. Tamiko Archer, who's been a problem. Justin Houston in the front. Darius Leonard. They are, that is a very good front seven that we're about, we're about to face. So a good front seven, we're going to have to be able to, um, we're going to have to be able to um, make some holes for Derrick Henry to run. And Deontay Foreman and Jeremy McNichols are going to be very important, too, because they're going to have to be able to spell Derrick Henry and give him some room. Ryan Tannehill, he's going to have to use the play action. He's going to have to use the play action. They're going to have to try to move the pocket for him, so that way he's not you know, under immense pressure all the time. And... Receivers got to come up big. I know Corey Davis is playing with a heavy heart tonight uh, after the uh, passing of his brother yesterday. Prayers to the Davis family. Uh, I think he should be featured tonight. This could be a big night for Corey Davis because he might play angry, and that might not bode well for Colts defenders. Um, Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith is going to have to be creative in this game. He's got to be creative. He's got to come up with some moves. Making sure that I'm uh, COVID approved, that I'm not under COVID. <laughs> so, you know, again, we got to make sure that we get everybody involved. This is the kind of spot where you and have the coaching ads in favor of As you can see in the you background, we got television going on, on everywhere. But we got to be in attack mode. And like Zach said, we have got to start fast. Can't start slow. The O9 said we need this one, period. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Now, Charles Sand down the rock. I agree. But you got to remember. The Colts are one of the best defenses in the league against the run. They only give up about 83 yards a game. So we're going to have to be able to run the football, but we're going to have to be able to uh, scheme it right to where uh, you got to be able to scheme it right. So this is a big game. Gold Townsend says we need to put it all together. And we'll show what we do for the season. These next three games is going to tell who the Titans are going to be this season. These next three games are going to tell the story. What's up, Titans Mafia? Blocksville, what's going on? <laughs> I like that. Blocksville to the key says, tighten up or get zipped up in the body bag. I know mean, that's right. Like, you better come to play. Because if you ain't come to play, this ain't the game for you, Tennessee. What's up, Logic? What's going on? But yeah, I gotta understand this is a big game. So offensively, we gotta do a lot of things. Arthur Smith has got to be creative. Arthur Smith has got to be a little bit unpredictable at times. You know, I ain't saying get too cute. I'm not saying get too cute. Do a few things, but be who you are at the end of the day. Be who you are. Remember who you are. Like the old saying go in the movie, you make sure they remember the night they play tight. You got to make the coach remember that. Second point, release the dogs. Let A.J. Brown and Derrick Henry do their thing. Let A.J. Brown show the world he's the he's the number one receiver. Let Derek, let the big dog, let the beast king eat. Let the big dog eat. Let the beast eat. 
Now you got to be cool with him, Eden. I would give him the ball about 25, 30 times tonight if I could. I mean, he rested some against Chicago. He rested against Chicago. So he really has – he's got a lot of gas in the tank. So I like to I, I give him a heavy dose of Derrick Henry. But don't be predictable in doing that too. But make sure you know – Get the big dog to pull forward. Again, I said the key matchup. Derek Henry against the front seven. Also, Arthur Smith against Matt Everfoot, the defensive coordinator for the Indianapolis uh, Colts. Ever since he's been defensive coordinator, they've only given up one 100 yard game in almost three years. One 100 yard game in almost three years. And that one guy was Derek. Now, in. So that first injury, which I'm thinking it might be two after tonight, so we definitely gonna see about that. So there's some things that's gotta happen. You know, we gotta be smart, we gotta be efficient, and we can't take too many three and out. We gotta, we gotta score, we gotta make touchdowns. So that's what we gotta do. We're gonna be able to win this game. So for me, I to know the other the side of the ball. Here is the price has been on the move, but I still think there's some opportunity with the Colts. This is my game for the division do. before the season now, started. Last the week was a big box so far. step up in Revelation. We saw that this defense could be very good when they got the right players on that side of the ball. That's the key came in was an immediate impact. Big Jeff, what was Big Jeff done? And Derek Robinson and Carol Landry, they brought the pressure. They brought Jones in too. But against this offensive line, that is one of the very best in the league. Y'all see the TV going on behind me. One thing that they're going to have to do is hands up. Hands up to show out. If you're not going to be able to get to the quarterback, you can't get to Philip Rivers, knock them balls down. Knock them balls with a lot of script. If you can do that, if you can do that, you can disrupt the passing game. Getting sacks is not going to be easy against this team. So if you can't get to the quarterback, get in his face, get your hands up, and show out. Your national TV, show out. You know, Phil Rivers loves to be a gunsling. He is a gunsling. He's just going to throw it up. He ain't got the arms to be used to, but he could throw a couple of picks, too. And that's what we got to be ready for. We got to be ready to pick off the balls from Philip Rivers. Because we can cause some turnovers, and that's going to help us think out. We're very good at that. Jefferson is down on the balls in there. Somebody got to be there to grab it and pick it off. And I think I think we're going to get two picks tonight. And Jonathan Taylor, too, you got to remember, he has fumbleitis issues. He has fumbleitis. He puts the ball on the ground from time to time. So, pop that ball out of his hands. We pop that ball out of his hands on the ground. We've got to cover it up. Get turnovers. Now, again, the key matchup. I was praying to God T.Y. Hill wasn't going to play tonight, but he is going to play, but he may not be 100%. And he may not be completely on the same page with Philip Rivers just yet. I hope not. But Malcolm Butler, or Malcolm Butler's going to play big. Leon Borders is going to have to play big. Uh, Desmond King is going to have to have another good game. I'm ready to see a Kevin Byer interception. I think we're well overdue for that. We are well overdue for a Kevin Byer interception. It's time. And J.R. Brown and Rashawn, and Rashawn has got to show up in this game somehow. Do something. J.R. Brown has done a lot of good things, but Rashawn Evans has got to do something. Plain and simple. Let me get some of y'all comments right quick. AJ Channel, what's going on? What's up, AZ Mick? Clowny is playing tonight. That's going to be another part of the pressure. That's going to be another part of the pressure. 
Victoria's TNT. I like the sound of that. I do. I do like the sound of that. Thursday night football. James says Henry does something special. Right? We gonna definitely see. Yeah, we know the TVs are behind me, so I gotta you know try to be a little bit loud, but not too loud, you know, and everything. But um, you know, the fact of the matter is this: the Titans have a great opportunity in front of them to make a statement, and this is where we show the world exactly who the Tennessee Titans are. Now, I told y'all to tune in tonight for my prediction. So, I'm going to tell y'all what my prediction is in just a second. But again, shout out to the Tennessee Titans fan club of Memphis. And I'll definitely be back during halftime to give up a halftime update. But here is my prediction. Titans get the win, y'all. I just think that we're at home. We we play great at home. You know, we're going to have a crowd there tonight. They're going to be bringing the energy. we on national TV. Derek Henry always seems to do something special on a Thursday night. On a Thursday night, he always does something special. And I just don't think tonight's going to be any different. So I'm going Titans 27, Colts 17. Titans go to 7-2 and two on the year and take sole possession of first place in the AFC South. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's going to be done. But this game is exciting on a whole lot of levels. What's up, King Guys? We got some people starting to file up in here. So it's an exciting time. We're about to have some real fun in here, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to make sure I come back at halftime. We're going to talk about this game a little bit at halftime and then uh, get back to the home studio and do the post game show tonight. So. Everybody get ready to enjoy this game. If Sean Evans does need to step up, you better show up in this game. I'm going to start having some doubts about it. So, make sure y'all share the show out. Let everybody know what happened. If you missed it, I'll be back at halftime, and I'll be doing the post game tonight. How excited are y'all about this game? Do you think this game wins the division? Yes or no? Does this game win us the division? I want to see what some of y'all think before I get out of here. Does it or does it not make us win the division? I already said that it won't lose us the division, but it will put us in, but it will put us in the driver's seat to win it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And three more college football games have been postponed this weekend due to COVID-19. I'm going to just move around a little bit. Y'all keep up with me. And I'm going to end up getting a little drink. But I appreciate y'all sticking with me. We got a lot of good people starting to file in here. We about to have a really good time. We about to have a really good game. Once again, shout out to Indigo Nightclub for hosting us. It's going to be super fun up in here. So make sure y'all let everybody know what's going on. He said we're going to apply full pressure tonight. We better. We got to do that. We got to apply pressure. We got to put the pressure on them. And we cannot let up. Nashville says, I think so. If we lose to the Ravens and the Colts, it's all for now. Now, I agree. I would rather us win this game 
because these next two, these next three games are very tough. We got the Colts twice, and we got the Ravens in the middle of that. We lose all three with six and five when down to very good spot. But I say we win two out of three. We win two out of three. Then we're eight and three in a very comfortable spot. So that's what we got to do. But y'all, I'm gonna get up out of here. Get ready for this game. It's gonna get started in a little bit. Again, I'm gonna come back to y'all at halftime, and we're also gonna do a post game show. Titans two out. See y'all at halftime.